And thank you for joining us for another segment on our Network of the Future channel leading up to TIA's Network of the Future conference on June 3rd through 5th. We're here with Frank Bernhard. He's the Managing Director of Communications, Media and Technology North America at Accenture. And Frank, welcome to the program. Great. It's great to be with you today. Frank, we'd like to start each interview talking about what your perspective is on the Network of the Future, let's say three years out. I think that the network of the future is going to be squarely based on big data and analytics. Given the fact that so many mobile consumers are using their phones in very unique ways, the operators are going to have to think in context of what are they going to do with the data that's going to give them a competitive advantage. Frank, in a previous interview that I had a chance to watch, you, you, you asked the question about competitive advantage for operators. How do analytics buy competitive advantage for operators? Well, first of all, let's start with what competitive advantage is. Competitive advantage gives an operator the unique position to take a subscriber or to use their network to their advantage in terms of capitalizing on data. I really believe that competitive advantage to most mobile operators is going to be about the next wallet, the next subscriber that's going to become part of their network or may become part of a transaction. So thinking about competitive advantage in the broadest sense, most people refer to understanding the competition, but you got to look squarely inside of what the subscriber is going to do in effect turning their wallet towards that network operator. So a lot of that could be around using applications in very unique ways, using the data generated by those applications through the network to discern maybe what the next behavior might be. You said again in this previous interview that operators may have to rethink their approach to next generation technologies and how they invest in those technologies. What did you mean by that? First and foremost, the network is evolving alongside of data and it's evolving to be more contextual to how subscribers are using data in their everyday instances. Operators themselves need to think about as they're building the next network, what is it that they want to capture? What, what can they encapsulate inside the network that's going to give them some sort of lens or some window, some aperture, if you will, into the future soul of that subscriber? And so as 5G starts to become the foreground of thinking and, and design, how are you going to leverage the data harvesting, the collection of data, so that you can use it in a way that gives you the next iterant of how behavior will come about? Frank, we had a chance to speak prior to this interview, and you said there was a symbiosis between machines and the network. How so? First of all, I, I think there's a lot of discussion around the Internet of Things today. And if you look at what sensors and automated collection is doing, this is really that interoperability that 4G was promising us. It's the ability to take from a machine that is generating data and, and collecting it and then transmitting that over the network in ways that we don't have to be actually manually intervening. This is also where we can get the best amount of data in terms of when we think big data. We're going to think about the purpose of how that data then applies to the next iteration of the subscriber. And it all happens transparently in the background. So the Internet of Things is becoming the relevance of how machines and learning about consumers are actually becoming together. Frank, what's the competitive climate right now um, for operators, operators attempting to attract more data subscribers? The environment today is, is certainly stiff with competition. Most operators are trying to find a way to differentiate themselves and try to understand what their landscape is relative to what consumers are going to want. When you think about the next design of the consumer around how they use their devices, and it's not just their mobile phones, it's all of the tablets, it's the interaction of, of again, machines and in the home, you think about the connected individual, that whole piece has to be thought of in a very strategic sense. And most operators are having to understand and really get down to the crucible points that will drive why a consumer is going to use a particular technology, how they're going to use that technology to inflect a difference in their life, their lifestyles. I mean, this is becoming a moment, I think, a watershed moment for mobility and for telecom in terms of giving that renaissance of real value, the economic value being driven by wide data and subscribers come together. And this is what convergence is really all about. Frank, it was uh, great to talk to you, and we'll, of course, follow the evolution or revolution, however you want to describe it, of uh, next generation wireless technologies. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Abe.